Smart manufacturing for us is the, is the application of modern technologies, data analytics and, and IoT, into the manufacturing process. It gives much more insight into what's actually going on. So the machines produce data. That data um, gives a lot more insight um, than it was available just to the naked eye. But it's, it's really taking data from the machinery in the factory and using that to model um, what's actually going on. Um, the idea being that we collect a lot of data in as much granularity as possible um, and then use that to find patterns, um, spot trends, anomalies, errors and then alert operations teams uh, to things that are happening. We also use technology um, in a manufacturing context to, to look into the future. So based on previous events we will use that to predict what, what may happen um, be that unplanned downtime or quality issues um, and again alerting the operations teams and the maintenance teams uh, to those events so they can take mitigating action. One of the solutions that we've developed um, for logistics uh, is rather interesting so it's, it's working with a customer that supplies uh, gas and air and, and liquid air products. In all the gas tanks they have sensors to monitor the level of that product um, so they're collecting information about the usage and they can start to see trends of which customers are using how much product um, and in, in what volumes and what quantities. They can use that to start to predict demand. So instead of customers ringing up out of the blue, they almost predict when customers are going to ring. Um, taking that to the next step is actually then linking into that customer's order book and understanding which products uh, consume more or less product from our customer. Um, and then again using that to predict demand so that they can then start to plan their delivery routes more optimally. They can then start to look at supplier managed inventory or, or vendor managed inventory. So the end customer that's using the product in their manufacturing process doesn't have to worry about their raw materials. The raw materials are supplied by the suppliers based on their prediction of usage and demand. Some of the benefits are better forecast and planning. So whether that is your order book or whether that's use of raw materials, whether it, it, it's sales um, forecasting as well, um, but it's also better understanding of your process and identifying areas where you can improve things. So if that's eliminating errors, el eliminating anomalies, uh, getting just greater clarity. But it's also providing information into your current processes. So if you have um, a continuous improvement process. Um, normally you'd, you'd be getting people to come with ideas. Um, we can also in, in provide information into that process. So uh, a continuous improvement team can look at the data and that, that, you know, that, that data might provide additional insight into causes or, or effects of one impact on, on downstream uh, processes.